it's been a tough year with the season being canceled. Uh, but the one positive that, you know, coming to the office, we, we get to see this building go up weekly. Uh, if you if you took a week off or you didn't go to, come into the office, work from home, when you would come in, you would really see the progress made. The players just uh, being back and watching this building go up is, you know, it's been kind of kind of neat to watch their uh, reaction maybe week to week, or especially when they first got back. Some of the guys that had been out the summer ball, uh, they realized what a, you know, just what a special place it's going to be. We're at a high level. This league's incredible. It's so competitive. You know, one player here or there makes a huge difference. I mean, we feel like this facility, training-wise, will help us get over the hump here and there as far as getting, you know, some special recruits maybe. Uh, but as far as development for the players that select Arkansas, uh, it's going to be second to none. I, I think that they're going to have everything they need. And I tell kids when we're recruiting them, uh, you can get as good as you want to be you know, or maybe that your ability will let you because you're going to have everything you need from the academic support up on campus to, you know, all the support down here athletically with, with the weight room and nutrition area. And you could go on and on and on. I mean, this, this building is special. There's no doubt the Hunt Family Baseball Development Center will have an impact on the players that train and use it on a daily basis. But the building may also play a role during the games at Baumwalker Stadium. When the wind's out of the straight south, uh, it will knock balls down that are headed to right field pretty good. Uh, now with the building, if you hit it low and hard, it's still got a, an opportunity to get over the outfielder's head or out of the ballpark. When there's no wind at all, it plays approximately the same, maybe a little bit better. It just seems like, uh, and it may be just because the building is so tall and it's on you that the ball gets out of the park. I mean, we're hitting balls on the roof and uh, you know, from here, you look up there and you think, man, that's a long way. And it is, but it's not too far behind the fence. But we have noticed that, that balls are getting out of the park a little bit more in right field. I just can't wait to see if the finished product and number one and one and one A is a, our strength and conditioning area. I think it's huge for our program to have it right there, uh, right outside, basically just down the, down the stairs. From the, from, or I don't know, if you know if it's down the stairs, just right next door to the locker room. Uh, and then obviously down the stairs for sure is, uh, you know, our pitching development center. Uh, you know, obviously if you can't pitch, you can't win. Just to be able to walk a recruit through that area and they can see how beautiful the facility is. Obviously the technology that we can, we can break them down individually and tell them everything about themselves and what they need to do mechanically to, to fix things so they can throw harder and more accurate. But those two facility, you know, those two areas of that big facility are going to be special in my opinion. Yeah, Mrs. Hunt and her son Brian, and I mean, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate them and what they've done for us and in our baseball program and, and the program going forward. I mean, you just think about the generations down the road. They're going to get to come and work out and train in this facility and uh, just the way it's brought the ballpark together and it just ties in so well. I mean, just a lot of credit goes to Hunter Yurichek, his vision and, and, and the architect did a tremendous job. The fan base here, we've just watched it grow. I've, I've been so fortunate to be here and they'll and just to watch, you know, everything develop over the years and grow and grow. And, uh, you know, I don't, I don't see it slowing down, to be honest with you. 